Welcome to RCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse and I'm here with Paul Plushkel. He is Chief Strategy Officer at GenBand and founder of Candy. Paul, Candy is your idea that you brought to GenBand. Tell us what it is and how you came to be involved with GenBand. I'd like to start with the name Candy. Um, candy is really representing several things. Candy is a wrapper. So if you think about GenBand has core assets and, and a lot of IP over the last 10, 15 years of building um, uh, networks for large service providers. So GenBand, um, and, and Candy within GenBand is a wrapper around all of GenBand's assets. So it orchestrates through BSS and OSS layers the ability to have sign-on registration billing, but expose these assets in a new way. Really looking at exposing them as outcomes of the service. So um, if you're an end user and you're doing something in context, let's say I have a services business and I want to collaborate with my driver and I want to collaborate with somebody in the services desk that can help them solve a problem, I need little components of, of real-time communications. We call those small pieces of candy. So I embed these small pieces of candy from this large infrastructure that we have at GenBand, very lightweight in contextual use cases within um, vendors' applications. So large ISVs, SIs, you know, system integrators, large software software providers, large enterprises. Think about it if you had a, a large mutual fund or you had um, a, a large brokerage firm and you want to um, have better customer service. I think Amazon hit the tip of the iceberg with the Mayday button, right? And unbelievable. I have, I can just push a button, I can talk to somebody. How great is that? But that is just the tip of the iceberg. Now what we have to do is we have to find the relevant experts at the right time to help you solve problems both internally and externally with the crowd and your internal employees. Um, so we're talking about omni-channel communications, right? We're, we're touch points with our customers every day, whether it's social media, whether it's something as simple as email, whether it's a face-to-face in-person meeting, and we need to hit all those touch points with real-time communications to give the best possible service to our customers. GenBand has the core assets, Candy exposes them through an orchestration layer, and these little pieces of candy. So your target market is the enterprise. What's what size enterprise? Um, so, so I have four target markets, okay, because I, I don't think it's limited to anything. Enterprise, large enterprises, most definitely. Um, I can service um, carriers, network service providers, right? They, they need, they have business to business needs also. Um, so they need to expose their core and keys, you know, their core networks and be able to provide outcomes as a service. Candy can layer onto their cores as well as our core. Um, large enterprises, of course. So I think medium and large enterprises first is my first target demographic because they've built large scale applications to power enterprises. Um, system integrators are key too because system integrators are really the, the nuts and bolts behind making things work with inside of an enterprise and communication and collaboration is a the key. There were two, two verticals that we've collapsed. There was a social vertical, so you had standalone social software and then you had unified communications which was standalone. But why would you want to leave one application to get into another application to do social or to do real-time communications? Those two things should be within your applications. So what we said with Candy is we're not building another platform, although it's a platform as a service, to say, here, log into this, do this, here are your steps. What we're saying is take these small pieces of Candy from our platform, work the way you're working, and add this incredible functionality. So one example I like to give, if, if I had a um, CRM and I wanted to find out you know, what my salesperson actually said to a customer, I could transcribe their call and I could listen. Or if I wanted to pull in that salesperson, I just want to click on him and say, listen, can you tell me what happened today? Why this forecast went from 80 to 70? Why it went down? And I'm in the moment right now and I want the answer right now. I don't want to go to my email, leave my in-context workflow, go to a chat and hope he's online. With Candy, I can see presence. Is he there? Yes, I want to have him. You know what? I'd like to pull in the sales director too. So this is like, boom, real time. We're all in the same room without having to be. Um, you know, we keep talking about working at home and, and all these things. This is what allows it to really happen and flourish. You know, I always think that ideas are collisions of other ideas, right? And when you're not together, you miss that. Well, we're letting you get that same approach by being together online in a much better way because you're not leaving your application to go to another application and stop your train of thought. Okay, so you've talked about social and you've talked about unified communication. So obviously this ties in very closely with GenBand's other assets in these areas, you reach and Frank. Can you give us a picture of how it all works together? Yeah, absolutely. So we built Candy as a platform as a service. It has four really key components. One is I'm a developer or I'm not a developer and I want to put some context or, or real-time communication in context in my application. I can either let you go to the developer portal and you can code, you can get our APIs, our REST APIs, or SDKs. If you're not a developer, you can go to our quick starts and you can just cut and paste it and put it in your HTML browser and it works. So I was, for the board meeting, I was coding for them. I'm not a coder, it was fantastic. There's another avenue, which is the app exchange, where Fring is an application. If a vendor wants to use that application, they can simply download it now and use it. And because now it's being based on Candy, they have all the um, 
organizational or the, the, the business logic to it as well. So I can register, I can track it, I can report it, I can bill it, I can administrator it. See, these are the really important things. It's one thing to have a little piece of communication or something. It's another thing to have the business logic around it, and that's what we've built with Candy. We have an ecosystem, so I use a third-party uh, help desk software. Um, I offer my clients the ability to talk to each other to solve their own problems or to use our, our professional help as well. So there's a, a real community. I mean, if we're preaching social and unified communications, we better provide that as well. And then we also have something called a showcase, which is my favorite. So you just walk into the showcase. I go to a car dealer and I go, oh, I love this Tesla. I want to learn another battery. Oh, I love this Porsche. Well, our showcase shows you all the in-context applications that are being used to give you really creative ideas so you don't have to reinvent everything each time. Excellent. And finally, give us a little bit of history of Candy and GenBand, how you got together. So um, about 15 years ago, David Walsh, the CEO of GenBand, bought my first company, a financial market extranet. We um, had a lot of success with that, took it public, sold to a very large company. And we kind of went on our own ways, and, and uh, David's had an incredibly successful career. I've started multiple companies. And at Christmas, I, I flew out to Texas, and I sat with David, and I said, I've just recently sold my company, and I want to run by you an idea. And he goes, wow, that's really interesting, Paul. Do you know what we do here at GenBand? And I go, oh, wow, that's really interesting, David. And so it was like, uh, it just, it was magic. It said, this is, as opposed to me taking something outside and getting VC funding, and then having to build something which I don't own, I look at it like Fisker. If somebody did candy without GenBand, it'd be like Fisker. You'd have a great idea, electric car and all the parts, but you won't own anything. Doing it within GenBand, they have the core assets that make candy spectacular. So we're more like Tesla, where we have all the parts and we own the IP. And we can actually give you an end-to-end -end SLA. So it was just David and I getting together again after a long period of time. And ironically, or serendipitously, our careers kind of gone, have gone back to the same place. That's great. And it sounds like you have more than just candy that you're working on at GenBand. Yeah, I'm in charge of the cloud, which you know, I hopefully that's you know, I believe that's incredibly important, right? Um, and it's it's all of our cloud assets. So it's really trying to provide outcomes as a service to people that want to pay for something with low risk reward. What I mean by that is, if you're a subscription billing and you get you you pay for it as you use it on a consumption basis, um, it's a real benefit to an end user, and that's the future of business, right? I don't want to throw um, money at something and hope and pray that I'm going to have a solution and, and need for it. I want to use something that works solves my problem and I pay for it as, it, as it's required. So it's a new business model. Yeah, all right, great. Paul Plushkel, Chief Strategy Officer at GenBand and founder of Candy. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you very much.